Hello, and welcome to the demonstration for the SolidFire Java SDK. For this demonstration, we're going to use IntelliJ and create a Java project that references and uses this, the Java SDK. We'll start off by creating a new project that is Maven-based in Java, and we'll add some meta information to go along with it. The first thing we're presented with is a POM file. This is where we do our dependency management for the project we're creating. We need to import the SolidFire SDK in order to use it, so let's do that. First thing we'll do is switch out to a browser and go to the GitHub page for SolidFire. This is our SolidFire repo, and the first thing we want to do is find the SolidFire SDK Java repo on our account in GitHub. Now we'll scroll down on the readme until we find the location for reference information. So we can either download the jar or add it via Maven, SPT, or Gradle. And what we're doing for this demo is Maven. So let's grab the dependency information, copy and paste it, and go back to IntelliJ and put in the dependency. Now we're going to import those changes and we have access to the SolidFire Java SDK. Let's create a new file called demo and paste in a bunch of code that we're going to go through line by line. So this is a console application that was created to demonstrate listing an existing accounts, creating an account, creating a volume, cloning a volume, and listing volumes for an account. The first part of this starts on line 21 where we use the elementFactory.create method to create a SolidFire element object that we're going to put in the SFE variable. We have to hand it an IP address or a URL that uh, points to the location of our cluster. We also give it a username and password. Now that, that generates the SolidFire element object for us and off of that we can call every single method that's available in the API. We're going to start by calling list accounts. List accounts can either take a list accounts request object or it has a parameter list that is too long. Uh, if every method that is implemented by the SFE uh, class, if it has three or fewer parameters, it's overloaded and can be called directly, handing in either empties or values that we want to use to filter. The list accounts method will generate a list accounts result object, which we'll put into the list accounts result variable. And we've chosen empties, so we didn't filter down to anything here. That will result in all of the accounts on the cluster being put into the accounts array on the list accounts result object. We'll call the zeroth one and we'll display it to the screen here. The next part of this demonstration will be to create an account. So in this case, we've used the account, the add account request builder pattern. So every request object has a builder pattern. We call the builder and we set username for the add account request object and built it. So now we have an add account request object. We're going to hand that in to the add account method and that's going to generate us an add account result object that we will put into the add account result variable. We'll pull the account ID off of that variable and put it into an account ID uh, local variable to be used later on in this class. We'll use it right away to get the account by ID and set that into the get account result object. And then we'll display the newest Insight Demo account that was just created. So we call get account from the result object and write that out to the screen. Let's scroll down just a little bit more and go on to the next part of this demonstration. So here we're going to create a volume. We've started uh, a request object here. We've created a request object using the builder pattern and we set the name to Insight Demo and the account ID to the account ID that we've just created. Total size and, en and enable 512e are also set. There are more properties of this request object that are left out at this point. Call build on it, and that gives us our create volume request object in the variable create volume request. We hand that into the sfe.createVolume method, and that will 
uh, get us a create volume request object that will set into the cre or sorry result that will set into the create volume result variable. The next thing we want to demonstrate is cloning a volume. In order to do that, we need a volume ID to clone. So we use the request builder again to build a clone volume request, and we set in the volume ID from the create volume result object above. It's available right here. And we set a name, insight demo clone. Build that object up, the request object up, and hand it into the clone volume method. That clones it. We don't need to receive any results from that call. Then we will list volumes. So as list accounts above, we were as in that example, we were able to hand in parameters and we called them empty. In this case, we actually want to build up another request object and set in accounts. So we could give it an empty here, or we can set um, an optional parameter or sorry, a property called accounts, and we could create a new long array and give it the one account ID from above. And that is going to, uh, we, all, we did this in line inside the list volumes method, and that is going to generate a list volumes result object that we'll assign to the list volumes result variable. We'll iterate the volumes array on that list volumes result object and print out each and every volume. So let's take a look at what this does when we run it. And voila, what we see are the existing accounts or account, there was only one, the new Insight Demo account that we just created. And then we use that ID to create Insight Demo volume. That's volume 45. And then we use volume ID 45 to clone volume ID 46, giving it a new name. All right, let's switch over to the UI and take a look at what this looks like on the cluster. Okay, we'll switch to the management tab. And the first thing we see are the volumes. So we have the inside demo volume and the inside demo clone volume, the only volumes on the cluster that are both under the inside demo account. So then we'll switch to accounts and take a look at those. There was only existing account and then we added the inside demo account. There you go, that is a demonstration of creating and listing accounts and volumes using the Java SDK.